FGI is the is the only company that I'm aware of, not just in North America but anywhere anywhere in the world, that's devoted solely to forages as employing all the new technology tools for, for forage improvement. All the way from I've got a great idea to uh, working with farmers in terms of how to plant and get the most out of a product. We've taken a look at the alfalfa plan. We've challenged ourselves on what can we do to make that plant better. Coming to market here, Harv Extra Alfalfa, which really sets us in a new uh, era because now we have a product that's adapted and designed for the dairy cow. Where we want to see Harv Extra in terms of its value add to the farmer is in order to help him make decisions that are best for his or her farm. So whether that be increased tonnage at the same quality or a higher quality at the same tonnage that he or she has always had in the past, that's what we're looking to do, is to give that choice. What's been really fun this year is to see the adoption of the most progressive farmers and to see how Harvextra has made a difference on their bottom line. Uh, my name is Len Viffs. I'm a second generation farmer here at Maplewood Farms, Jerseyville, Ontario. We milk about 70 cows and we run about 400 acres. We milk in a tie stall operation. We milk Holstein cows. We are into big time into genetics and our Holsteins. We show cows across Canada and across the states. We also put a lot of bulls into the AI industry. The way I farm is I've always looked for the best genetics. If it's in semen, cattle, sea corn, alfalfa seeds. So I've always bought the best. The spray on the alfalfa plants, it doesn't affect the plant at all and it just continues to grow. You have no weed pressure, you got no chemical damage. It's just healthier for the plant. On our fourth cutting, we were planning on filling up, topping up all our silos for haylage. We cut everything down. By the time I realized silos were full, we, we had to go out and bale 150 bales that we ended up wrapping. So we had a huge amount of leftover carryover feeds, so that was a huge bonus for us. I'm Hank Krutendorf from uh, Krutendorf Farms, Breslau, Mary Hill, Ontario. And uh, I run the operation with my brother together, Ari Krutendorf. We're milking uh, 600 Holstein cows here. We run a 1,200 acres. We milk it three times a day. What we really like from the Harvest Extra is cleaner alfalfa, 100% alfalfa, no grass in it, that I can control my feed rations. Just feed more alfalfa on the cows. We have to buy in less of protein, make it better results financially. There's always a challenge uh, to cut on the right time for the alfalfa. It is the weather. We need only a window for 24 hours. That's what we're always focusing on. Well, let's say it is raining for a week and you do the week later and it will maintain the protein level in the alfalfa. Hey, to give the farmer a little bit and wider window to still cut it and still have high quality for it. My name is Miloš Haas and I work as an independent nutritionist uh, in Ontario and I consult also in Europe. And I worked with uh, Ari and uh, Hank Grutendorf uh, the last six years. I strongly believe that the whole idea of Harvex Extra Alpha Alpha is the right idea. We are going the way that we want to increase the consumption of forages or homegrown feeds on the dairy farms. That will be only allowed if we can have forages that have a higher digestibility and the cows will be able to eat that. So the whole idea is uh, certainly the right one. So far, the information that I'm gathering from Harvex is uh, that the yield is not being compromised and that will be a huge thing if you can get alfalfa that actually has the same yield and improved digestibility. Yeah, I'm very intrigued with this alfalfa. I highly recommend it to all of my friends that are in the dairy world and I think it's the way to the farming of the future.